that music is my journal okay. and my diary. Love is not made of gold. He is Robert DeLeo. So many of you know him from his work on a little band called Stone Temple Pilots. Flies in the We're talking about the solo project dude lessons learned what, what's the vibe what are people getting out of this new solo album uh you know just uh me kind of um pulling my pants around my ankles so to speak musically speaking so just kept it in a real intimate uh this just felt sonically where this record should should lie you approach the songwriting for this solo project as opposed to the stuff that you know we've been rocking out to for years with stp yeah. well for me it's all approached the same way it all starts on an acoustic guitar but it's a matter of where it goes from there and i chose to keep these songs in an intimate place i think just the sentiment of what i was trying to get across it was kind of like you know my journal and my my diary to myself uh, that I was that I was making along this journey of these songs and um, choosing different uh, singers to to ask to join this journey with me. Uh, you know that was an amazing thing, and I'm very fortunate to have great friends who have great voices. So I kind of kept it in that that area. So you mentioned journals and diary. Do Robert, do you really in real life keep journals and diaries? No, that music is my journal okay. and my diary. For any writer, when you make a snapshot of a song and that goes out to the world, it's kind of your way of being immortal. Even though we're all mortal, these songs, no matter who the artist is, will live on for forever, forever. These songs will live on forever. And it's, uh, it's kind of our way of being immortal, I guess. So many artists struggle sometimes with the order of the playlist, right? What song's gonna be number one? What's gonna be number three? I feel like you had to probably do a special approach with your album because of having guest singers. So not only are you doing favorite songs, but now it's like, ooh, but this voice, you know, I don't want these back to back or I do. How did you figure out the, the playlist and the order? It took a couple of weeks. <laughs> it took a couple Did of you weeks. phone a friend or did you do it by yourself? Um, Ryan Williams, who engineered and uh, mixed the record, I, I trusted his his ear and his word on that. I think it's also, you know, it's like any record, you don't want songs that have been the same keys to be together. So I think it's just a matter of uh, where you want the journey to go. It's really kind of thinking about how you want an album to flow. From start to finish, I think it worked out okay uh, that way. Pete Shoulder, who uh, sings the first song and I sing the last song. so. I think the journey and with uh, Is This Goodbye, the way I wanted it to end, I kind of wanted to end on that note. Love is not made of gold. That's the single. Um, it, it almost has a sentiment of the glass is half empty, not half full. How do you see this? Well, um, I think the themes on here are universal. It's everything, it's, it's, it's all things we feel. There's been a lot uh, that has happened over the past couple of years of my life. And um, I just, like I said, simply trying to document that and, and take that journey, musically speaking. The way that I've been running Couldn't stop the pain The world allowed us a lot of time to kind of sit back and rethink things. Um, I took that time to get reacquainted with my guitar playing. That was the, the main thing I really wanted to do was sit down and pursue my original love was guitar. And that's kind of where the songs came from. They kind of generated or sparked from those, those instruments, each instrument I picked up. Some new instruments, I played this, this is called a Sig Fiddle. It's a cigar box. And this is what I played on Is, is This Goodbye and on uh, Put Aside Your Sorrows. Put aside your sorrows, well, here the morning comes. 
really just sitting down and trying to see what I had to say and what my instruments had to say. All right, well, speaking of the instruments, you have a press photo uh, that comes along with this album. Tell me about this gear that's surrounding you in the photo. It's just a collection of things I've always wanted through the years, and each one of those instruments has a certain voice that kind of I use as a main instrument or something that complements those main instruments. The artwork, this this tree, uh, this sense of solitude um, and loneliness, and a little creepy, a little, the tree is a little creepy. It's dark, it's dark. I took that picture one night. I actually, I actually took that on my iPhone. The iPhone 7, by the way, so it was my older phone. But it was such a beautiful night. I took that picture up in Santa Barbara. That was an old oak tree and the moon was shining right behind it. And it just instantly thought that was that was cover. Fast speed round here. What are some of the lessons you've learned about packing to go out on tour? Light, go light. What are some of the lessons learned about eating while out on the road? There are some really tight clothes to fit into. And I'm proud to say I still fit in my clothes that I bought back in uh, 2008. So uh, eat well, eat light. But in all seriousness, um, what are some of the lessons you've learned that you, you're bringing to this album? Because there's so, there's so many stories, like you said, that are intimate on this album. Um, and to name something, lessons learned, you're trying to tell us something. And what is that? Well, I'm still learning. You know, that's the thing. It's still it's still in progress. And um, I think it's um, not always the best thing to follow your heart all the time. And as a musician, you kind of follow your heart a lot. Um, I have, and um, there's consequences that go along with that. Now that you've got your freedom, the world is open now. And, um, but I think, I, I think we're always learning. And it's, it's learning about that eternal question of what love is. Um, and like I said, it's something I'm still learning. Lessons are still being learned. Your stuff right now does not sound like STP, Stone Temple Pilot. Let's just call a spade a spade. It's different. You know, I feel like my contribution to STP has been underlying this kind of thing musically, but it's just done in this different format. You know, growing up in the beautiful world of the 70s, you know, there were so many artists that my sister was listening to. I, I still adore Cat Stevens. I still adore Gordon Lightfoot, all these people that definitely inspired me. All right, the new album is called Lessons Learned. It's by Robert DeLeo. Uh, the new single is Love Is Not Made Of Gold. Uh, this thing is, you know, digitally, yeah, you can get your hands on it, but vinyl, that is where it's at, my friends. Yes, definitely. Hey there, thanks for watching Access TV. Subscribe, follow, like, and do all the good stuff. And make sure you leave a comment below. I don't know, just let us know what your favorite Access TV show is, or who your favorite bands are, and what artists you're into, or just say hi, man. I'd like to be told hi. We love hearing from you, that's the point, all right? Keep it coming.